Mr. A. Gordon, and I am not amused. Oh, 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 really, Mr. A. Gordon? Well, well, here's a thing. How about you go and tuck in your petticoat, wipe the sand out of your lady parts, and take a big pint of man the fuck up? Now, fuck off. I'm busy telling folk how to make beef or chicken olives. You know, folks, sorry about that little diversion there. It's it's one of these things, you know, you make you make videos that are popular, you know, we, we've made a few now, Cooking with Lurch videos, and people have to either piss, complain, moan, or outright copycat all our ideas. So, that aside, the twat, we're now going to go ahead and make some cracking beef or chicken olives. Okay, folks, now, the olives that we make are stuffed with scurly, now, folks, if you don't know what scurly is, then get the fuck out of my house. No, I'm, I'm only joking. Uh, scurly is a mixture of suet, oatmeal, onion, salt, and pepper. Let me tell you, fantastic stuff. Uh, it's basically a northeast tradition here in Scotland. Now, when making chicken olives, butterfly the chicken breast. You need to shape the scurly and stuff into the breast, then wrap or tie them to help them keep their shape. Essentially the same way you would do with beef olives. Okay, it's time to cook, so let's prep the veg that we're going to be using today. Oh great, looks fantastic. Now add two spoons of plain flour to a bowl, along with a big pinch of salt. Mix it together, then roll the olives in there and get them all completely coated. Now next you want to get your pan lovely and hot. And when I say hot, I mean hotter than say two naked supermodels mud wrestling in the middle of a forest fire. Now with that in mind, uh, add some oil. <laughs> you dirty little mix. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I mean to the pan. Now you, you put the oil in the pan and you brown the olives for a few minutes. Set them aside and throw the veg in and give them a quick brown too. Now while that's happening, make a soppy gravy, which after five videos, I'm pretty sure you'll be pretty proficient in making. Okay, so now basically you have two choices. You can either throw everything in a casserole dish if you want to braise them in the oven, or in a deep pot if you want to stew them on top of a stove. Either way, fill it with enough gravy to cover the meat and maybe try and naked the gravy everywhere. Jesus Christ! For, oh, for, it's just dead. Look, it's everywhere now! Uh, right, so... Okay, either cook in the oven covered at 180 degrees Celsius for one hour or on a low simmer in the stove for the same time. Now this is optional. After an hour, place some dumplings on top of the gravy, slap the lid back on and cook for a further 15 minutes. Once it's cooked, just throw it in a bowl with gay abandon and slap a few roasts on the top and you're done. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I mean, look how easy and simple that is to make. And believe me, your family can, will only thank you when you present this on the table. It's, it, it really is a taste sensation and... and oh, oh, guys, I'm sorry. It's bloody mobile phone. I, I tell people not to phone me when I'm recording things on the internet. It's just... It's it's rude and... Oh, I can only apologize. Wait, listen, I'm, I'm going to take this call. I'm sorry. Oh God! Hello, who is this, and and why are you why are you interrupting my important speaking into a microphone time? Well, hello there, fat man who does the voices for the telly butcher adverts. You do not know who I am, but I have some troubling news for you. Andrew, uh, Andrew Gordon, sh get the down these it's stairs now and put your teeth out. No, I'm doing things. Anyway, 
I have reason to believe you recently won an award for your sausages. Well, I will tell you this. Unless you give me that fucking recipe, then you will never again see your prized employee, your father, Big Dodd. That's right. I kidnapped Big Dodd last night after he was staggering out of a local bar. I held a screwdriver to his throat and bundled him in the back of my 1992 Ford Fiesta. He's now undergoing horrible, horrible torture from our trained specialist, codename Laughing Gravy. Unless you give me the recipe within 24 hours, no. I'll never see Big Dodd again. Hold on, you've kidnapped Big Dodd, the Lurch Monster's own father, and employee in the Lurch Monster's Tilly Butcher, 61 Heaton Road, Aberdeen? <sighs> this is big news. Let me tell you, I think I can I can uh, reply to you on behalf of the Lurch Monster himself, who's currently busy making some more award-winning sausages, and say, keep them! Keep Big Dodd, the man's a liability. We once, get this, we once caught him up to his chest in a wheelie bin relieving his bowels. The man's a liability. We once caught him running through a school in just his pants. Keep the man. <laughs>